you guys. Uh, Hunter at Hunter Moore, aka Honey Momo, aka uh, fucking been tweeting too much. All right. Uh, <coughs> I thought I'd update the Q and A video. Um, fuck, I don't know. We couldn't stream tonight, so I figured I'd do something for you. Trying to get drunk in a little bit and doing another video for you. Um, I don't know, man. Anyways, so I had a couple of you guys send me questions. Um, and I thought I'd answer them. Um, I'm trying to be sober lately, so hopefully you guys don't get too upset with me. I'm just trying to get, you know, a little bit more healthy. Or sober for the most part. I'll probably end up getting drunk later, but. Alright. Um... I'm just going one by one. And I said I'd answer anything, so if some of these are fucking retarded, uh, I'm sorry. Um, and of course, the first one's fucking retarded. Do you have kickers? Someone pretending to be you. Bitch, how many fucking times have I told you guys I don't have Snapchat? I don't have fucking kick. You could be anyone on kick, you stupid fucking whore. Look at my Twitter fucking bio, you stupid ass bitch. Fucking Send your busted ass fucking pepperoni titty nudes to some fucking fool pretending to be me, you stupid fucking bitch. Morgan Olsen, you whore. All right. So, no, I don't have cake. Where did you meet your fiance at? Uh, I used to throw this party at. Uh, actually, it's kind of a cool story. So, Halloween about five years ago, six years ago. Give or take. I don't fucking know. It's been a while. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, it's probably been about five years ago. Four or five years ago, I uh, I used to throw this party called the penthouse party, and uh, and I met this guy. I was dressed up as a baby, and I was walking down the street, and this guy was standing outside like smoking, and he was all, he like liked my costume. Where he was all, hey, come outside or come upstairs. Uh, it's like a or I renovated my apartment into a club or some. Sh it was like some weird conversation. I was like, well, he's either gonna fucking rape me or it's gonna be the coolest time ever. So I just walked upstairs. Met this dude, he, like, renovated his whole fucking, um, his whole, uh, what is, what is it called? Um, shit, whatever. Anyways, he had this huge space, right, that was for an apartment, and it was in downtown San Francisco, and he, uh, renovated it and made it into a club, like, fucking, you know, it's stripper poles, a full, like, a full stage, uh, full bar, he had a full cocaine room, like, just badass shit. And, uh, I don't remember what happened to that guy. But anyways, he, so we, uh, we used to throw this monthly there called the penthouse. Because it was like a penthouse. And, uh, it was badass though. It was completely fucking illegal. It was all ages. And it was an open bar. Uh, just ratchet as fuck. And, uh, I remember the first party I did. We, uh, like I was walking up the stairs and I just, I like, or actually I was just leaving. And I saw her, and I was like, holy shit. And, uh, yeah, then I met her for, like, two seconds. I said, like, three words to her because I was doing the party, and I was all, uh, you know, I was running around and shit. And then she hit me up on Facebook, and, yeah, that's pretty much, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I went over there the next day, and I fucked the shit out of her, and then I kept fucking her. And then now, six years later, here we are. Um, okay. Um, Chris, um, Chris B from Toronto. I'm 20 years old living in Toronto. I save 15 grand and I want to learn how to make money doing shit like finance, like IE financial shit. How do I use the internet to my advantage? And would you ever bring back rep revenge porn? I got the domain. Is this your daughter? Dot CA. I want to get pics and sluts and ask their dads if it's their daughter. What do you think? Well, you can't do that in Canada, you fucking idiot. So, uh, it's completely fucking illegal there, and you'll probably end up in prison. Um, the states has way linear, lenient uh, laws towards that. You guys are, I mean, they protect their citizens a little bit more. <laughs> so, yeah, you're a fucking retard. So, uh, good luck going to jail. Other than that, saving 15 grand, I don't know. I had negative $120 in my bank account. Um just check out, uh, I tell everyone, um, damn it, uh, hold on, sorry, I'm getting, 
uh, check out Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, maybe I'll put a link in the description. Just at Gary V on Twitter. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just learn. It's uh, I honestly I don't have the time or the or the want to really teach people right now. I I'm gonna do some kind of like. Uh, I don't know, man. I guess if someone paid me enough money, I would definitely, uh, wink, wink, uh, I would definitely, you know, teach someone how to make money, how to be successful online. If that's something you guys want me to, um, help you with, or, um, you know, you're interested in, you know, just seeing how the internet works and, um, I don't know, just making a little bit of extra money or making a fuck ton of money, uh, just let me know. Um, obviously I'm not the most traditional guy. You know, there's tons of different ways to make uh, money online, but um, there's a very simple formula for it. And uh, yeah, so I don't know, man. Just don't be stupid and start that site and uh, go to prison. But yeah, uh, check out at Gary V. But um, <laughs> all right. Um, our Air Aaron Aaron says the name crazy. Aaron Garcia. Ever thought about giving away scholarships? For what? I don't I don't have that type of money to just give away like 50, 60, 70 grand. I don't even know how much scholarships are, to be honest with you. What are you talking about? Beauty school? Yeah, I could do beauty school all fucking day. <laughs> for like a trade school. Uh, not actual college stuff. So, no, dude, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I... Finn Watson, if I paid you five hundred dollars, would you be in straight porn? Well, not, I pretty much post my dick online all the time. With girls, with doing shit with girls, five hundred bucks? No. I'll take your money just for the fact that you met me. Uh, let's see. Michael Terrell. Hey, last. November. I'm just reading these off, you guys, so some of these I may not answer. Uh, hey, last November you tweeted Rip Mitch Lucker. Just curious if you have any stories about him like you do with so many other band members. Um, I kind of do because everybody knows I hate Travis. Uh, Travis fucking one or T Mills. Uh, everyone, uh, Travis and uh, that dude are from Corona or Riverside area, whatever. And when I was living with Travis out there, all that fucking guy would do was talk about that kid. And, or Travis would talk about Mitch Lucker. And, uh, I don't know. God, I just know Travis wanted to suck that fool's dick hella bad. And that's really the only thing I know. And he was just huge in the scene out there. But he was huge in the scene. Um, so yeah. Rest in peace. Um, alright. Hey, hunt or Brendan Murray. Hey, Hunter, I was in this nightclub last night, and I took a babe home. I really had to go, but I really didn't want her to wait. Plus, she was down to blow me. I th he's talking about sh he had to shit just because his uh, title's Q&A pre-shitting video. So let me start this over. Hey, Hunter, I was at a nightclub last night, and I took a babe home. I really had to go, but I really wanted her to wait. Plus, she was down to blow me. So I took my PP out, and when she was about to blow, I let a little wet fart out. <laughs> that ends up dripping on my bed sheets. She took off and left. I have her number. Should I call her or wait for her to call me? Please answer, Hunter. That pussy is long gone, dude. <laughs> Should appreciate. Use my formula. Um. Oh fuck! I'm, my new mix is just got converted. All right. Uh. How did uh this guy's name's Tank? That's pretty. Could be douchey or badass. Uh, how did you start your career? It seems like you're living the life now. I, I'm itching my balls a little bit. It, it's hard to struggle with two jobs, a car that I have to keep putting money into and the things th and things like that. I'm an artist and I'm hoping that my skills take me far in life. I just want to know how you did it, Father. How did you achieve such great success? Sincerely, the light skin guy. Um, dude, I struggled fucking hard as fuck. Like, I used to put the reflectors in the middle of the road and like paint the stop and go and the lines and shit working 12 hour days five days a week or six days a week i'm sorry um making ten dollars an hour uh i worked in the park worked at every shithole in the fucking mall 
Zoomies, Forever 21, all kinds of shit. You fucking name it. And I would be working them back to back, too. So, um, you know, people probably think I have it easy. Uh, I got fucking raped at work one time. Uh, that was how I how I, I kind of got the bug for making money because I ended up suing the company. I didn't get, like, fucked in the ass or anything, so calm down. Um, but, you know, I ended up winning a large sum of money, and it, it really motivated me. Plus, I kind of saw, like, why the fuck am I working my ass off? You know, working my ass off, especially somebody – I work corporate. You know, I work for Zoomies, assistant manager, manager, first assistant, a whole fucking thing, a sales kid, uh – the whole thing, you know, like I, I, and, and you know, I worked for fucking uh, what hustler, not hustler, sorry, uh, fuck, one of those Abercrombie ones, um, Hollister, um, PacSun, you know, did a lot of corporate type gigs, not full on corporate like cubicle type shit, but I worked in a corporate environment, which is that shithole fucking mall stuff, um, but uh, you know. I don't know. It was weird because, like, I saw so many people making money. Or it, actually, here, let me try. I'll try to make sense for you guys, I guess. So, like, at, when I worked at Zoomies, there's this thing called the 100K. So, what you'd have to do is sell 100K, $100,000, and then you'd get to go on this trip to Colorado. And, you know, there'd be, like, celebrities and shit, and, like, everyone gets to snowboard. So, basically, I'd work my ass off, you know, selling two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars by myself to get a two hundred dollar plane ticket and about a hundred dollars worth of fucking uh hospitality and then get sent home and then the whole time it's basically you're like you're working because you can't drink, you can't get fucked up, you can't really do anything because you'll get in trouble and fired. And so at the end of the day, you know, every year I was always so excited about it and I always worked my ass off for it and I never got a fucking really rewarded for it. Yeah, I got some gifts and shit, but it didn't really make sense to me. I was like, why am I spending all this time making other people, you know, almost a million dollars by myself and I'm getting paid what fucking 20 grand a year? Like the fuck? It didn't make any sense to me. So, um, you know, and then I, I ended up winning that money and I was like, fuck this. Like, I'd rather just struggle and like fail in fucking life trying to do something I want to do. And then instead of making some fucking asshole money, pretending I like your fucking personality, pretending to take all these classes to deal with people and act like a fucking robot and, you know, just, uh, not being myself. So, um, yeah, dude, I went, I went from living very, like a very, amazing lifestyle traveling the world just fucking and uh coming back with literally no money couldn't pay my phone bill um had to do horrible horrible shit just to fucking make it by it was probably the worst two years of my life uh i mean i was close to fucking killing myself because it was so fucking bad but um you know at the end of the day like that struggle made me come up with this anyone up and not that you know, everybody wants to downplay like I'm a fucking retard and, uh, you know, um, and is anyone up with stupid. But, you know, it helped me come up with just it, it helped me motivate me to never be in that position again. And when I made is anyone up, I was like, fuck, you know, I've always had a business mentality and this is what I was supposed to do. I mean, I have my like this, sh I have all this shit like. I mean, I wish I could show you guys, but, you know, I've been creating business my whole life and I never knew I was an actual businessman until you know, is anyone up? So anyways, you're going to find what you're really good at, but without the struggle, there's no payoff. And you're really, you know, the people that have it easy and the people that have money, you know, it's always going to be easy for them, but you can't look at them and, you know, get all bummed out or anything. People are always going to have more than you. So, uh, you just got to have that struggle. And so, yeah, so yeah, you're paying all your, this money to fucking, you know, drive your car and all this shit. Like, <clears throat> you just got to set time aside and fucking hustle, and that shit's going to pay off, you know? Just be the best at what you do. That's pretty much it, man. Hopefully that helps. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, this one's good. Angelique, do you ever think you're a sociopath? Love you, though. I don't know. Probably. Is that bad? Is that... I don't understand. Uh, uh I mean... Maybe for me as uh, someone who's in business, that's a fucking good ass thing. Um, I don't know. I don't care. I'm fucking happy with myself. So even if I am, I don't really care. But I, 
I don't know. Fuck, I hope I am. If I was, I'd have I'd spend more time making money. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brandon Laverge. Um, less of a question and more just something I want to tell you. I'm quite good at computers, as I imagine you are seeing me much more. Seen up. Anyway, I also like to party and fuck bitches. And, well, I think you're pretty fucking cool. A lot of people hate you, but personally, I idolize you. So keep doing what you're doing. Except pick some Bombay gin one of these days. Okay, this isn't a fucking question. I know it's what you said, but I was hoping for a question. All right. Thank you, though, dude. Thank you, Brandon. Um, I'm trying to g- get through these so you guys aren't bored. And I don't have my Mac right now, so I have to wait till uh, I can edit this. So that's why it's not, you know, trying to make it kind of flawless. Uh, she doesn't have a name. Hey, Hunter, you're my biggest role model on this person. I hope you can answer my question. What is the advice do you have someone who wants to do what you basically did in living without going the traditional path to college? How do you become successful doing something different than most people? How do you stay fit? And how often do you go to the gym to work out? Um, I don't know. I kind of just explained that in the last one, you know. You got to just find your own shit. Just find out what you're really fucking good at. You might not think, oh, I'm not good at anything. But you actually are. And you probably, it's, uh, you just got to see it. You know what I mean? And then you just got to follow it. And, you know, can't be scared to fail. How do I stay so fit? I don't know. It's just my genes. But, uh, I don't know. I go to the gym. I'll go to the gym real hard for a month. And then I have to do my parties. Or I get real fucking lazy. Uh, so it's like, I don't know, it's just a balance. Like you'll, re- you'll see too, like every other month you'll see, I'll look all sucked up and skinny or a little bit more tone and then I'll get a little bit bigger and <laughs> I get all sick, sucked up again. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I hope that answers your question. Probably being an alcoholic helps too. Uh, why don't you send some local pussy towards my direction? You have the power and you know it. Cause you're a fucking creep. Um, father, my question is what the downright, downright funniest thing has ever happened to you during sex. I don't know about the funniest, but I wrote this story a really long time ago. Uh, Owen is Twitter's at a buzz underscore nation. Um, anyways, I, I wrote this story a really long time ago, uh, on his anyone app called lasagna. And l- what lasagna was about was like, I'm this girl, she had moved to San Francisco in the city and she was like, oh come over and i remember she was trying to fuck all my friends and stuff and uh she anyways she was like i walked in to the house and like whatever we ended up fucking it was bomb ass sex like fuck bomb ass sex i was like fucking fucking this girl in her ass and then i remember i started fingering her ass and i uh i kind of pulled a like a like i pulled a turd out of her butt on accident and I, I just hit it, you know, and like I tried to play it off and I, I kind of I was trying to fuck her and I was like, ugh, like, it was weird because the turd was just hanging out in the sheets and shit and uh, whatever. Anyway, ugh. anyway, so then uh, I wrote a story about it like <laughs> I feel so bad, dude. Fuck, I was such an asshole. I remember I was like, oh, I have the best story about you, like, driving on the way home. Or, like, on Twitter, I was tweeting. Everyone was like, I got the best story for you guys. Can't wait to tell you. And then she tweets, texts me. She's like, I hope the story's not about me. Like, winky face. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it was about her. Anyway, so, um, fucking, how do I say that? Oh, so then, like, I wrote the story about her. I hadn't seen her in fucking forever. And then I, uh, I, um, uh, about, like, six, seven months later maybe even longer i uh i flew these two strippers down from portland to come just party with me and fuck and uh yeah we were all doing blow at this like random house and i was like trying to fuck this other girl and like i was cutting up lines for all of them and uh i looked at her and she looked completely different or the the girl whatever that i wrote the story about and i i looked at her and i was like oh you really look like this girl that I wrote a story about, like, on my site, and she looked at me, she's like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I don't know why I told you guys that. I thought it was fucking funny and uh, very awkward. But anyways, and then, actually, I ran into her not that long ago. Actually, it was probably, like, another year ago or so. And, uh, like, right after I sold my site and I was at a party, and it was with, it was with like, her boyfriend or something, and he was all... he. 
I, I don't know why. I think he was just he knew I fucked her or something. And he was like, why do you wear the same shit every day, bro? Like, you wear the same fucking thing. I guess it works out for you. And then I just said, well, your girlfriend likes it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he fucking hit me in the face. So there was that. He was hella big, too. So I basically got my ass beat for that one. All right. Father, I'm thirsty. Follow me on Twitter. So God damn. This girl's got a fucking booty. I wish I could show you guys this. Oh, my God. I want to check off of it. Wait a second. Where is she? Oh, here she is. Okay. Will you fly your son out so I can watch your penis get sucked? Dude. Fucking gay. Um, <coughs> hey, Father. I'm a poor college student. Can you hit me up with free tickets to the ASU? Uh, usually whoever DM DMs me first on, like, the night of the party, I'll, uh, I'll definitely hook you guys up, uh, just whoever DMs me first. Um, how do you deal with those fucking rude-ass people on Twitter? I mean, it's really easy, dude. Like, people that are, people that are really mean on Twitter or any kind of social network are just looking for a rise and they're, they're probably having a shitty day and they're being fucking assholes because they want to feel better about themselves and it's that right there people just want to feel better about themselves why else would they be fucking hating on someone they don't know like i don't know i don't get it uh i mean don't get me wrong i fucking hated on people before you know i was in the position i am now like out of nowhere but um I see the shit they say to some of these girls. I see the shit some they say to you. And you guys see sh some of the shit I get every fucking day. And, you know, I can lie and say it doesn't bother me. But some sh some of the shit bothers me. I'm a fucking human being. But uh, most, of, I mean, to me, though, as long as they're fucking talking and as long as they're saying shit, I just know that it must bother them some way and make them insecure in some way that they – and, and or feel threatened that that's the reason they they're saying the things they do so really it's all because you're a badass motherfucker is the way they're why they're talking shit so anyways angel hope that uh you know helps you how much are tickets to the asu event i don't know 20 bucks your soundcloud name what does it mean it means sorry mother uh i have it like blasted on my stomach um yeah i don't know this is what it means sorry mother how tall are you and how big is your penis, Mr. Moore? Coming, This is coming from a guy. How much money do you have? <laughs> Would you sponsor a sports team if you got the name If you got the name and team design? Uh, I don't know. I don't really watch sports. Why would you want me on there? How old were you when you lost your virginity into who? I've said this story like a million times. I was like 14 or 13. I fucked my friend Craig's girlfriend. Sarah Padilla. So if you're out there, Sarah, ah. no any connect, no any connects down in Key West for some drill. You're a cop. What's your most most ratchet story? All right, whatever. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put this new mix up because I love you, motherfuckers. And <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, I love you, motherfuckers. Uh, at Hunter Moore, um. Let me know what you guys want to do. I'm putting a new mix up on my SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and put the link. Um, and I haven't, the whole new EP with Foolish Ways is almost done, um, you know, with the family song and all the other more beautiful songs that we've been doing. Um, and then I got a couple more remixes um, coming out and an Ariana Grande remix and yeah let me know what other songs you guys want me to remix let me know whatever the fuck else you want uh you can ask me questions in uh the comments i'll probably answer them and i'll f be fixing the stream soon so you know all right well i love you i hope some of this helped um maybe i'll do more of these i love you i love you <laughs>